In the short term, I mean, we've already seen, with, with most places coming back to work now, um, we've already seen an uptick. You know, there are a lot of the roles that were on hold or processes that were moving slowly um, have, have now come live again. You know, the, the activity has definitely gone up in the last week or so. Uh, and there are new jobs coming out. You know, there are there are some green shoots as such and I think we can be very proud of the way the Hong Kong people have, have pulled together um, and done an incredible job to keep the numbers down to stop a widespread outbreak um, which is great and I think you know we and China is reopening and, and th there is opportunity and then there is hiring going on um, you know there's potential for for example for, for private equity to once things are opened up to to start building up again there's one and a half trillion in cash uh, you know, waiting there globally to be deployed into undervalued assets. Distressed debt funds uh, are, are very busy, as you would imagine. Um, and there is the possibility of some M&A. And, and, you know, again, there are people saying that, you know, by the end of the year, this pipeline of IPOs that haven't happened will happen. And again, cash needs to be deployed. Um, however, I think we need to look at the broader global picture and if you speak to almost any economist or, or anyone senior in financial services they're all saying that this is going to go into a, a deep recession but potentially a depression some people say we're already there and that's going to affect the whole world regardless of how well china and, and hong kong have recovered in the short term we may see in a couple of months time the real pain from this once the stimulus runs out um you know we may well see a lot of job losses we may well see a lot of uh, loss of market activity uh, and we may well see more law firms pulling out of Hong Kong you know there are a lot of law firms here that have never made a profit you know there, some of them have been here 15 20 years uh, relying on funding from you know, London New York and, and other places um, we may we may lose some more of them however you know this uh, with every crisis there is enormous opportunity um, we're speaking to some firms who are looking see this as an opportunity to grow uh, during the GFC um, I I work with US firms in, in London um, who saw it as an opportunity to grow by getting magic circle lawyers that they wouldn't usually be able to get. Um, so there are firms who are, are looking to grow, have got very ambitious growth plans, uh, and this is a fantastic opportunity for them to do it. Um, so there will be opportunity. I mean, it's just a question of, of where you look. You know, I mean, I think you know you can't be too optimistic about how this year is going to go. You know, it may just be tough. It may be, you know, to be frank, a worldwide disaster of. of of, you know, of proportions we haven't seen since the Great Depression. You know, I'm not an economist myself. I wouldn't try and predict that. Um, but whatever happens, there will be opportunity. And I think the trick is, is to just make sure that you're, what we do, speak to the market all the time. You know, make sure you're talking to people. Make sure, even if they're not hiring, you know, you're in touch, you're offering advice. Um, and that way, when you know, these opportunities come, uh, you're able to find those pockets. Um, that's, you know, for me, will be key in, in trying to you know, get the most out of this market, you know, whatever is there, try and at least find it.